Oh. Hi there. Hi. Detective Swain, everything OK? Uh, yes, yeah, someone phoned in an order for the station. One bargy platter, one smoked platter. It's one of the sergeant's birthdays. Yes, yes, it's nearly ready. Grab a seat. You know Mason Radcliffe quite well, don't you? Well, I should, I should hope so. He worked here and um, he lived in my home until recently. What made you take him in? Well, we found out that he was sleeping here and Stu persuaded me he'd be better off under our roof. What do you make of him, really? Oh, well, he's... He's had his troubles, that's for sure. Do you think he'll get over them? Yeah, well, if he can escape the influence of his brothers. Oh, same old story. Let me, let me get your order. Uh, you said until recently. Why did Mason move out of your house? Oh, those brothers again. I'm pretty sure one of them smashed my window and they were trying to persuade Mason to do a burglary. Stu found um, a crowbar in his bag. Just a moment. Oh, could you hear? Where's the Smosers? You need to speak to Mason Radcliffe. So you got the Smosers? They're in the break area. You need to speak to him. So wouldn't it be easy just to ground your daughter? What? I mean, just because you don't like a boyfriend doesn't mean you can send us lot round. Sounds like abuse of police powers. He's not her boyfriend. And Yasmin Metcalf said he had a crowbar on him. She saw it. No, her ex did, but he's in Germany now, which is why you need to question Mason. Uh, I can't arrest everyone with a tool bag. He doesn't have an alibi. I got Yasmin to check her dates, and he slept on the floor in the restaurant on the night that Joel was murdered. Alone. And what about a motive? Well, he obviously likes Betsy, doesn't he? Maybe he was protecting her. Oh, come on, Kit, there's something in this. You know there is. I'd do it myself, but she's so fond of telling me this isn't my case anymore. There's a reason for that. <clears throat> Betsy? Oh, my God, my mum here. You don't need to check my every movement. It's not about that. What, then? It's Mason. Ah, oh, you're the favourite subject. I need you to keep your distance. Why? You don't need to know why, OK? Just trust me. Have you noticed that people that tell you to trust them are usually the ones you shouldn't? I think you can make an exception for your mother. I don't want Mason to hurt you. Why would he? I just know what he's capable of. I'm the one that nearly ruined his life, and you want me to treat him like he's the bad guy? Betsy, you don't know everything about him. So tell me. I can't. Exactly. And what does that tell you? Come on, you're cleverer than this. Why would I, a police detective, not be able to tell you what I know? Because there's an open investigation on him. So, can you just stay clear? Please. There you go. Thank you. I think that is everything, Mum. Sorry again. I'll let you know if I find anything else of yours. OK. Right, well, I better get off. Thank you for everything. Did you shift over? I don't work here anymore. What, you've been sacked? No. I quit. Well, why'd you quit? Got some big plans to make money I should know about. Hey. Don't act innocent, Mason. I, I felt sorry for you this morning and I stood up for you to my mum, so don't make me look like an what, idiot. What are you talking about? Why am I getting a strong suggestion from my mum that you're under investigation? What for? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. But I haven't done that. Well, I hope not. Because if I was you, I'd be expecting the police to turn up any second now. Hold up. I think you dropped something. So what was that you chucked in the bin? Just some rubbish. Really? So 
Sounded heavy metallic like some tool. I don't know, maybe a crowbar or something. I mean, I, listen, I can explain. I leave it. I'll take care of that. I'd also like to ask you a few questions. Questions about what? Oh, not here. Down the station. Shall we? So you admit to trying to dispose of a crowbar behind a factory? Yeah. Why would you do that? No reason. Just didn't want it anymore. Where did you get it? Um, I can't remember. You're not helping yourself here. You know, the sooner you start answering questions, the sooner this will be over. So if I was you, I'd lose the attitude and start cooperating. Tell them what you told me. Gave it to me. What for? Well, they were they were talking about doing some break-ins and well they wanted me to help them. But I didn't want to. So I chucked it. I ge I genuinely did not want to be part of it. I see. Now why don't you tell us the real reason why you got rid of it? Okay, that's enough. My client's fully cooperated and he's answered all your questions. So unless you want to charge him, unless there's something else. Well, there is actually. Because we're pretty certain the weapon used to kill Joel Deering was a crowbar. So if it's all right with you, I'd like to ask your client a few more questions. The crowbar that was in your possession is being tested as we speak. If it was the weapon used on Mr Deering, there'll be traces of his DNA on there. My client has already told you he denies having any involvement in the death of Joel Deering. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? But if you are innocent, then just tell us where you were in the night he was attacked. I was in speed, though. And I'm guessing there's people there who can verify that. No, because I was there alone after it had closed. I was just, I was dossing down there. I had nowhere else to go. It's unfortunate. Bit of a coincidence. It's the truth. Why would I hit him with a crowbar? I barely even knew the bloke. But you knew Betsy Swain, didn't you? And you knew what happened between her and Mr Deering. What exactly are you trying to infer? That your client has no alibi, was in possession of a possible weapon, and had a motive. So what was it? Revenge for what he did to her? Are you trying to impress her? Or did you just give him a good hiding and he got our hand? Why would I give a toss about her? When she lied to you lot about me, she nearly got me banged up again. She don't mean nothing to me. Yourself in. Is this where you've been sleeping? What are you doing here? Go home. I uh, I can't. I I'm scared he'll come looking for me. Oh, you mean you mean Joel? No one knows where he is, but he knows where I live. <laughs> what if he comes after me? I mean, I mean, he's already hurt me once before. I just I didn't know what to do. It's okay. <laughs> I am not gonna let that happen to you, okay? I promise. You've got the wrong person, okay? I did not kill Joel. I swear. Hi. Got your message. What's happened? I've just come back from the police station and that flipping kit bloke has caught me trying to dump the crowbar that my brother's given to me. And what? Trying to pin you for those break-ins. No. Joel's murder. What? Well, they reckon that's the weapon he was attacked with. Well, but that doesn't make sense. What, why would you want to kill him? Because they wondered, Betsy, if it had something to do with what he did to you. I just think until this is all over, until I'm in the clear, we just stay away from each other because I can't risk being seen with you. No, wait a no, minute. No, I'm sorry. No, I can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Oh, 